Hey everybody, so again, I'm gonna look in, uh, be sharing more information on epigenetics and a shout out to Dr. Bruce Lipton and Nature Boy for, uh, Nature Boy is the one who told me about epigenetics and thus Dr. Bruce Lipton. And so shout out to both of them. I hope you guys are doing all right. Um, so again, epigenetics is the study of how your behaviors and the environment can uh, cause changes that affect the way your genes work. And it's in my opinion, these nefarious ones, one of their key uh, uh, goals or uh, part of their agenda is to change our DNA from more of a most high aligned one into a, a most low aligned one. And one of the ways that they do this is through the food. Um, and so fast food is obviously food and it's full of all sorts of shit that's not good for the human body or the earth. And we we consume these uh, fast food here in America is, is pretty prevalent. There's over four point. I'm sorry, there's 4.64 million people who work in the fast food industry, and that's, I think, 2022, so there's probably more now. Um, and the industry in, in itself is worth over $200 billion. Um, and so based on the studies of epigenetics, working for fast food, working for companies that are selling people literally, I mean, it's essentially poison mode. It's, it's also poison that's designed to, to be addictive on purpose, purposefully. And of course, I mean, and, and then it's like you get into the, all the things that they put in there and that all that stuff is there to, to designed to lower the human being's energetic vibration from a higher one to a lower one. So it's evil. It's wrong. It, it's causing harm on people and the planet. I've already talked about how the foods that we eat and the soil that, I mean, and the waste that comes out out of us that goes into the soil in one way or another if it's not good if it's not helping enrich in the soil and it's if it's hurting the soil that is wrong it's harmful therefore it's a crime so it's like we literally have a country that's got all of these companies and jobs that are perpetuating crime so it's like they've turned us all into a bunch of criminals without us knowing about it and they're sitting back laughing and smiling at us while they're continuing to get rich and fat and more powerful and we're continuing to get die die and get sick and weak and, and lose our fucking minds and kill ourselves and get lost in drugs and sex and all these other fucking ver sin and that's exactly what they want us to do and a, a large part of it is from the economy is from the jobs we choose to work is from the products we choose to per perpetuate and allow to be produced in this country so we need regulations we need to change these jobs we need to shed light on how bad these fast food companies are and to also offer the solution in hemp now, the idea of fast food is a great idea. I'd love to, you know, be, being able to offer people food and quickly, you know, it, it saves time. It's efficient. But let's make it good and healthy fast food companies instead of literally poisonous and addictive ones that are designed purposefully to be that way. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, all right, I think I shared. All right, I love you guys. We'll take care. Bye.